so in today's video I'm going to be showing you all DIY bath bombs and these can be found at Lush and they're usually about $6 and this DIY is super inexpensive and it requires very little supplies. You can customize these to your liking or your favorite scents, colors, etc. Even make them glittery and you can even copy the ones from Lush. If you want to see how I create these DIY bath bombs then just continue watching the video. Starting off with ingredients you will need one cup of baking soda. Half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of Epsom salt, one fourth cup of citric acid, two tablespoons of coconut oil, one teaspoon of the essential oil of your choosing. Here I have peppermint, grapefruit, eucalyptus, and lavender. One teaspoon of the food coloring of your choice and you can mix and match this. This is optional but if you would like a bit of shimmer you can add pigment or glitter. The first bath bomb I'm making is inspired by Luscious Big Blue and basically to make these you want to combine all of your ingredients and here I'm using the shades blue and white. Next, you want to transfer your mix into your mold and layer the colors to your liking. Really have fun with this and decide which colors look best in the water. Let your mold set for at least overnight and when you want to get them out of the tin, just tap on the back of them with a spoon until they fall out. The next bath bomb is very festive and it utilizes glitter so this looks really pretty in your bath. And here I'm just using the colors red, white, and blue, perfect for the 4th of July. And these colors are actually really vivid when you put them into the water. This next bath bomb is great if you don't have any essential oils. Basically, you just want to double up on the amount of coconut oil you put in, and this will give a nice coconut scent. Just to add a pop, I'm adding a tan color pigment, and this is really finely milled, so it won't be uncomfortable in the bath. For some extra shine and added color, I'm just adding some more pigment. To add fullness and sandwich the glitter, I'm adding a top layer of white and the fuller the bath bomb, the more they'll look like the ones from Lush. <laughs> For this dragonfly bath bomb, I'm adding grapefruit essential oil and blue and green food coloring. I added a bit more green to balance out the blue and it ended up being a really pretty dark green color. I wanted a lot of shimmer for this one and I figured purple went really well with this pretty green color so I added a ton of purple pigment. Because the color is so vivid, I decided to keep this one plain and full. Yeah. 
This next bath bomb is extremely beachy and probably one of my favorites. So I just took some light brown pigment and mixed it with the smallest amount of white and then I firmly molded that down. I then followed up with blue and white and I think these colors really complement each other. And she spoke words that would melt in your hands. And she spoke words of Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up the video if you want to see more DIYs. And I hope you all enjoyed. If you decide to do this DIY, then you can send me recreations on Instagram. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in next week's video. Bye, guys.